let's work out the oxidation number of the elements shown in red within these compounds. To do this, I'm going to use some common oxidation numbers, and you can find out more about these in the video description. Starting with this overall neutral compound on the left. The oxidation number of the potassium is plus one, and there are two of them, so this contributed plus two overall. Each oxygen is negative two, and there are four of them, so that contributes negative eight. This means the iron needs to bridge the gap between a subtotal of negative six and a total lack of an ionic charge on the compound, making the iron plus six. For the central one, the compound has a negative two ionic charge, meaning there is a negative two imbalance in the oxidation numbers. The oxygen once again is presumed to be negative two and there are seven of them, so this is negative 14. The gap between the negative 14 and the negative two needs to be bridged by the chromium. To meet this demand, each chromium must be positive six. Finally here we have this familiar ammonium ion, which has a plus one ionic charge. Each hydrogen is presumed to be positive one and there are four of them, so that's a positive four contribution. The gap between the positive one on the ammonium and the positive four we currently have needs to be bridged by the nitrogen, and so the nitrogen needs to be negative three. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the video description for those common oxidation numbers and click the links on screen now for more chemistry content. Until next time, happy revising.